Hey you guys, I'm Marta Geek. In this video, I wanted to share at least 10 tips on how to save battery life or how to get the most battery life from your ASUS ROG Ally. But keep in mind, these tips will also be applicable to any Windows handheld gaming PC, like for example, the AKO Zoe, the One X Player, Aya Neo, uh, whatever it's a Windows gaming device, these tips will also get you better battery life from those devices, okay? So let's go ahead and start with the first tip. The first tip that I want to share with you guys is uninstalling unnecessary software like Word and all those kind of apps, right? Of course, this is for the people that don't know too much about Windows um, and you know, the first time getting into Windows, this is should help you. If you're, if you're familiar to this, you should know already, okay? So first of all, uh, let's go ahead and go to settings, right? Let's go to settings. So we got settings right there. Uh, when we, we want to go to the app section, keep in mind this is Windows 11. So Windows 11 should look the same on any, every device. So we go to apps. We go to installed apps, which is right there, right? And when we go there, you can see all the applications that are installed here on your device. And even when you, at the beginning, you select not to uh, a choose into Windows, Word, and all that, it still installs all, the, all those things. So you might want to uninstall things that you really don't need. Like for example, Microsoft Teams. This, I can uninstall it because this is gonna be treated as a gaming device. You wanna treat your gaming Windows device as a gaming device first. The hell with everything else, okay? So if you do not, interested in using word or excel documents on your device why would you want to have word and all those applications that are necessary microsoft to do i could go ahead and uninstall that if i don't want to so the things that you uninstall is up to you okay so everybody's different you know everybody cares for more some things more than others but whatever you don't want on your device just go ahead and uninstall it. Another thing you could do is control the applications that launch when you turn on the console because those applications, if you are not aware, those applications are gonna stay running on the background while you're playing video games. And it's just gonna burn RAM and battery life as well. So just go ahead here, right? We're still in the application section. Here, start up. Then here, you're gonna have a list of all the applications that uh, will be starting. For example, if I check this, that means that every time the system uh, loads, Cortana is gonna load. I don't want Cortana to load. So you just disable it. Um, Microsoft OneDrive. I don't want Microsoft to want OneDrive to load up because I'm not gonna keep my personal files here and I don't care for syncing my files. So I'm just gonna go ahead, uninstall, uh, stop or disable. Right. And like you see here, it also says how this impacts your system. It says high impact. So we're going to go ahead and eliminate it. So that means that now when you load up your system, it should load a lot more faster if you don't have a lot of things loaded up here in the background. And keep in mind, as months pass, if you install applications, make sure you always go here to see if those applications that you installed are going to be on this list going to be on the startup list and if you don't want it to load just make sure you disable them okay another thing that you can do right now as well is that for example uh, this system when you launch it for the first time is going to be at 1080p uh, there's a couple ways you could do it on this system but on every windows device you could just click here uh, keep in mind i'm using my mouse because i don't want to you guys to see my fingerprints all over the screen uh, so you could go ahead to display settings Right click, go to display settings. You're gonna have all the uh, information here. It says display resolution. Uh, by default, of course, it's gonna be set to 1080p, okay? It's gonna be set to 1080p. Even though this device is capable of running games at 1080p, 120 hertz, you wanna get as much battery life from this device as, as you can. So if you play 1080p and you leave also the, for example, you go here to advanced display settings, right here you got 120 hertz, 120 hertz. You want to switch that to 60 hertz because not basically not every game runs on 120 hertz. So you want to first, whatever, is up, whatever you want, do first. 
you could go ahead and resolution i always right now i'm leaving it at 720p right keep the changes and i also go in here to advanced display advanced display and here i'm going to switch it to 60 hertz switch it to 60 hertz keep the changes and now this system is going to be running desktop mode as always going to be 720p 60 hertz which is good enough believe me for this screen because you want to get as much battery life while you're playing on this device and the screen looks beautiful and having it at 720p 60 hertz that means you can run the games a little bit better looking here for a lot more longer let's pretend this is a video game if you tap and hold one of the buttons in the back and press here bottom this is a shortcut to go to task manager and task manager whatever application you see here that's running it will show you guys how many cpu how much cpu is actually running and how much ram is actually running as well using you can go ahead and click on one of these and just disable it while you're playing video games that way you don't have applications running in the background while you're playing video games like for example steam and xbox game pass running at the same time in the background you don't want to have that okay so for example here i got the epic launcher i could click right there and i could go ahead and hit end task and task and that was going to do is that's just going to close completely that epic launcher and this is not going to let it run in the background while i'm actually playing video games um you could do it that way or normally on any computer you could just go ahead to here to to the task bar right here click right click it says task manager right there click right there boom you're gonna get the same screen as well and from here you can also go to here let me go click here open this up you can also go here to startup because with the latest updates for windows startup apps is also available here as well so you can also come here and disable right you can go ahead and disable whatever application you don't want to start when the system is running so you can either do it here or the other way that I showed you before. The other thing you can also do here is limit the FPS, okay? Lowering the FPS. Not every game should run at 60 hertz or 60 frames per second. So you want to limit that. And the cool thing about this system is that it lets you do it very easily in the command center. Now, every other system like the AKO Zoe and one X player, they have their own controls. But here is very easily just by pressing this button right here. This is the command center button. Just press it. You got the FPS limiter there. It might be in another location because this right here, these things can actually be customizable. So right now I have it right there so I can have it very fast and easy to accessible. So you could just tap on it. it you could turn it off. You could turn it 15, 30, and 45, or 60. For me, the sweet spot is actually 45, but some games are good enough that 30 frames per second is actually good enough. But if you want to have it in the sweet spot when you're playing handheld, 45 is good enough. Believe me, guys, that is very, very good enough. So that will also save you battery. The other thing that we have here as well is the TDP or the wattage, right? So the performance, we call it here the performance operating mode. Uh, other devices are going to say like TDP, W, or wattage. Uh, so here we can actually switch from turbo, which is 25, silent, which is 10, or 15, which is performance. Um, if you're playing just an indie game, like in Hades or Dead Cells, some type of game like that, Pac-Man, you can play it easily, silent mode. In silent, 10 watts, that is perfect for indie games. If you're playing on the go, AAA type games, um, 15 watts is good depending on the game. Some games are very, very, very power demanding. So you might have to run it at turbo anyways. But running at turbo, every game is actually going to burn your battery really, really fast. I would always keep it in performance right in the middle right there. That combined with the FPS limiter, you're going to have a better performance when it comes to battery life. Another thing you can actually do here is leave AMD RSR or FSR on always. By default, when you turn it on, the system is always going to be on. on. Don't turn it off because what that does is that it upscales the resolution or the graphics that your uh, with the system is running. So if you're running a game at 720p, it will try to 
make those videos, those gameplay look like more closer to 1080p. Even though they're running in reality, they're running at 720p or 480p. Uh, your the performance and the graphics should look a lot better because this is actually upscaling the graphics or the resolution of those games. So I recommend to actually leave that AMD RSR always on. Obviously, the thing you can also do here is lower down the rest of uh, brightness, right? But that's personal preference. Some people like the screen a little brighter, or you could, depending where you're playing at, you might want to lower the, the brightness, and that's also going to help you with the brightness and saving battery, okay? But the other thing I want to show you guys is let's go to Armor Crate, let's go to Settings, is it Content? We got Settings and lighting now these things right here these rgb looks awesome i love it and but sadly um they also can burn battery life you know and the cool the sad thing about this is that no, doesn't matter which one you choose right doesn't matter which one you choose of these elements or the effects um you cannot turn like slide it down to make it you know as dim as possible you have to either bright put it completely off you could put it there at 33 at 67 or a hundred percent i think let me see a hundred percent 67 or 33 or zero <laughs> so if you want to save battery life very very extremely you're going to be away from the power so yeah i would just go ahead and leave it off that way you can go ahead and get a little bit more juice from your system while you're playing video games. Sadly, I wish this could actually lower down, you know, put it at 10% or 5%. That would have been nice, but no, you only have three options here. You got 167, 33, or brightness at zero. Now, of course, this is the ROG Ally. Any other system that you have, most likely you will be able to dim whatever RGB you have. So if you want to put it as dim as possible or turn it off completely, you go ahead and do that. Okay, the other thing that you can actually do as well is, let's go and get out of here, is go here, right? Where you have these options right here for Bluetooth and all that. If you're playing, right, if you're playing a game that doesn't require online and you can play offline, go ahead and per, turn on the Bluetooth mode, right? Turn on the airplane mode because the airplane mode is going to prevent Windows from searching, constantly searching for Wi-Fi and constantly searching for a Bluetooth. And that can also burn battery life because if you're playing and you have something in the background searching and searching and searching and searching, eventually it's going to just keep on eating your battery life while you're playing video games. So if you're playing a game that doesn't require online connection or you're not playing a game that's not a multiplayer, go ahead and turn this on. That way you can get as much juice as possible as well. But right now, like see here, if I turn that off, my Bluetooth, my mouse will not work. Because it's completely off. I think you can turn Bluetooth on and have that as well. See, you can have Bluetooth on and the airplane mode as well. So anything, the, the system will actually stop searching for other things in the background except for the Bluetooth connection, which is already connected. But normally, you could turn it, this on and it should actually turn everything off. Okay. So other than that, guys, um, these are my tips. For things you can do to save battery life and get as much battery life from your Asus Rug Ally. And like I said, this applies to every Windows gaming device. Now, of course, a lot of people are going to be complaining and maybe saying, why lower everything down? Or why buy a device that's capable of 1080p, 120 hertz if you're not going to use it? I understand that, but if you want to get as much battery life from your system with great performance, you're going to have to do that, okay? You're going to have to do that because if not, if you leave all your games at 1080p, 120 hertz, you're going to be lucky if you get an hour of battery life on the Asus Rug Ally, okay? You're going to be lucky if you get an hour of battery life because this is a very power-hungry device. It is very, very powerful. It has very powerful specs. You should always have the mentality that this is a cheap gaming device a cheap gaming pc this just came out this week 
You know, this came out this week and it has B specs, but my Alienware laptop is three years old and it runs circle around this device. So no matter what handheld device comes out, it will never be more powerful than the latest gaming laptop okay so you have to treat this with the mentality that it is a cheap gaming device which is meant to be handheld and if you follow those tips you will be a ha happy camper so guys thanks for watching this video let me know of other tips that i maybe missed in this video leave it in the comments and that way we can help any everybody with not just the uh, asus rug ally but with every other gaming device coming out there in the future thanks for watching till next time bye, -bye.